Yep. All right, so looks like it's snowing in here again. All that uh, dust particles in the air. I pulled down my uh, my dust mask so I can make a uh, quick video. Um, let me see, where's that damn thing? I have a long block, which is this. And a good long piece of, uh, of sandpaper. I bought it at CarQuest for like seven bucks for nine or 10 pieces, so not bad. Um, as I had mentioned in a, a different video, I let me pause to take off this fucking mask. So as I mentioned in a different video, um, I'll take a, uh, you know, the best way to do body work and ensure that you don't have dips and high points and stuff is to use a long block like this. Um, now what I would have done to start off with is sort of run my hand across the, uh, the surface of this thing and look for and feel for the obvious high spots and kind of sand them down, you know, or low spots rather. Put some uh, some filler in them and sand them down. Um, this is very common, and you'll find this on every kind of car that you'll ever deal with. Uh, maybe not the brand new ones, but you know, anything that's you know MGs and etc. You're gonna have these kinds of spots. So I had gone up and down, and then in different uh, diagonals to make sure that my entire thing was more or less straight this way. Okay, and then with very careful up and down, like this, with the the boards, uh, you'll get off even more, uh, or find more uh, more spots that are high or low. Um, so everything that's black right now is a, is a low spot. Um, I'm going to do a little bit, I think a little bit more, no, this area is here, this area here isn't bad. But um, I'll put a skiff, just a small amount of filler, a larger amount of filler here, and got some more prep work that I can feel. Maybe you can see it there, where the uh, where the paint is not that great. I'll be doing the same thing with a wet sanding um, setup I've got when I'm ready to start priming. Um, essentially what I'm going to do is block sand this entire car like it is now, put another uh, coat of uh, primer on there, and then uh, block sand it again Oops. to make sure that all these highs and lows are gone. If you can feel it, you're definitely going to see it. And if you can see it, i.e. here, what you'll see is a ripple effect in the paint if you paint it over that as it is now. So, um, again, you know, once you put the... Uh, you fill up the uh, the dings and the dents and the the spots where you thought you you were okay. This is the spot. This is the part where you will start to really really do a lot of work on. Um, yeah, so I really enjoy doing this stuff. Uh, I realize it's time consuming, but the more time you put into this aspect here, this aspect here, uh, the better off your overall paint job will be, um, at least in terms of clarity and finish and everything else. So. Um, I worked a hell of a long time on my Fiat to do the same thing, and, uh, I don't know, maybe one day I'll drive the stupid thing, but I also finished up some work in here. Um, I had some, some welds here that I didn't like, so I welded in some more. Um, I would have done it differently had I known better, but you know how it's a little, a little out like that by about a quarter of an inch? Um, some of this is, uh, tiger hair, some of that is, uh, is, uh, is weld. Um, got some stuff in here to fix up from where I was pounding on it from the inside, but, you know, not bad. Um, well, not the greatest, but I'm also more or less finished in this area here. Um, got a little bit in there to fix, but that won't take me long. Um... I've got a little bit on the uh, the front still to do. This, I'm not sure how I'm going to block sand. I've got, uh, I think it's three other block sanders in different sizes. This one, I can feel a couple of, uh, of oddities, especially in here. But the transition doesn't feel bad. I'll, I'll need some more in there. Um, and this one, it sure does look nice. But uh, there is a precipitous drop 
Well, maybe up in here. Yeah, there's some in here I need to even out. All right, so today, today is what, March 2nd. It's Friday, 2018. I don't, I don't know if you can hear it, but my garage doors are rattling like a son of a gun. Uh, we have a, a nor'easter coming through here, and um, it's shaking up everything. Fence is blown down. Uh, power hasn't gone out, but trees are down, all kinds of other stuff. Um, so I'll probably need to put some more in here in just this area for the transition. So it flows over really nicely. This being the first thing you look at when you look at a car like this. Yeah. That's about it. I mean, oh yeah, I've got a little bit of uh, work here I've done too. Um, this isn't bad. I'll take that block sander and do it this way and then this way, but I don't suspect I'm going to find any lower bad spots here. And I've got a little bit of work in here to do, I think. But this isn't bad. Actually, yeah, there's some work in here I want to do. And I'll just do it this way. So I'm not going to, no, I don't know. I'll start out this way and then see what happens from there. But aside from that, um, trunk is done. I need to do some sandblasting in the uh, in the overhead portion. To that effect, I've got where is it? This stuff. Well, not this stuff, but I'm going to make a uh, sandblast out of this thing too. It's a bigger bottle. I've got one of those two-gallon jug things in my cupboard somewhere. I may put that to good use, but uh, who knows? Um, well, damn. So more sanding, more bonding. Then I need to figure out what to do while this stuff dries. Um, yeah, who knows? So, yeah, I'm not too happy, not too dis. I think not too unhappy with how I've done so far. Uh, from the last couple of videos, I know it doesn't look like I've done much, but uh, I've done a lot of progress on some stuff that uh, I'm glad I did. So, yeah, there we so go. I am just about done. Um, what you're looking at here is just a few areas that I needed to smooth out. Uh, perhaps I put too much in, but <clears throat> I tried smoothing out some uh, some stuff before and left this stuff here, um, but kind of you know dimpled under. So that's this area here, and I had a little tiny pinhole there. I had a little kind of a low area here, some stuff here that I wanted to fill in. We'll probably get filled in with primer once I do that and then another you know, kind of a low point here so once I block sand this I may wait jeez this stuff is already curing quick um, I'll wait I think maybe until tomorrow finish that off and then and then paint it just to cover it up uh, let's see what else have I done um, area that we found here, I put a little bondo in, um, jeez, that's already cured too, whoops, this is already cured too, um, but again, I'm just going to block sand this down, I've got this area here, my goggles, this area here, and, uh, I'm going to block sand it this way, and I'll be done there, the rest of, the rest of this feels pretty good a lot of dust and I put a little bit more in here just just so I could you know when I start sanding it down it's not gonna for me it's easier to sand off than to sand and put another layer and sand and put another layer it's faster for me and what else did I do I uh these uh that pinhole rest there think that's it yeah that's it for now that's it for the night anyway 